Hello everyone, welcome to the Penguin Coders. In this video tutorial, we will be learning about how to create a flashlight application in Android Studio. Our flashlight application will look similar to this, where we have a button which can switch on and off the flashlight of the mobile phone. We can click on the button and we can see a pop-up message also displaying here which will indicate the status of the flashlight. Also we have two colored buttons so that we can see whether our flashlight is on or off. Now coming on to the tutorial. Open up your Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. We will be choosing an empty activity for the project template to continue. Here we can write the name of the application where we'll be, I will be writing flashlight and the package name can be left to whatever the default it is. This location will can also be chosen as per your need and the language I will be choosing as Java because the application is being created in Java. Minimum SDK we can leave it as default or you can choose the minimum that is API 14. This application will work on almost all the devices. I will be leaving it to the Android Studio default version. I will be clicking on finish which starts my Android Studio project. Here we can see there are two files already opened for us. One is activity main.xml and the other one is main activity.java. The activity main.xml is the file which we will be using to create our application's design. On the right hand side you can also see the live preview of the design which we will be creating. The main activity.java is used for writing the Java code which will help in to run the application. Now to start with the application we will be continuing with editing the activity main.xml to make a layout of our application. So for this I will be deleting this constraint layout and adding a layout relative layout of my own to make the case simpler. So we can proceed to delete this whole file and add a relative layout. We need to add the android height and width attributes layout height is equals to match parent and we will define the schema by pressing on alt enter yes we can remove this schema here and paste it on the front line to make it more consistent we will also be required to add an android layout width attribute which will I keep as match parent this is the opening tag and we have created a relative layout and now I need to add an image button so that I can see my toggle button on and off. I will be keeping the width and height as wrap content because we want a small button on the center. Since I want the button to be centered on the whole screen I will be adding an attribute android layout center in parent and mark is at true. And now I will be needing to add the source of the file. So for that I have already downloaded two files on my desktop which are power off and power on button and I will be using these two image files as my button images in my Android project. I will be copying these files and pasting them on to res drawable folder. Make sure you select the rest slash drawable on the not the other one out. Click on OK. And I have my power off and power on button associated uh, kept here. Now I can add these buttons to my project. Add the rate drawable power off. Yes. I'll be using power off because that will be the default state of the flashlight. So at right hand you can see the design I have a button here on my center of the screen. Now you can also see some grayish texture behind the button. We need to remove that and make it transparent. 
for that i'll be using the background tint property of android so background tint equals android slash color trans transparent making it transparent will remove the grayish part and we will have the button decently this completes our layout and the button and the button functioning and other app related activities will be done in main activity dot java function so the main activity dot java controls the whole working of the application here we'll be needing to define some variables which we'll be using in the application so i'll be defining a image button which i have used in my activity main dot xml to refer to this button i'll be defining a variable called toggle button and also we'll be requiring some more boolean variables such as boolean has camera flash equals false has camera flash checks whether our mobile device on which the application is installed supports camera flash or not and one more boolean variable will be flash on equals false this will decide the current state of flashlight and accordingly fire the flashlight on or off button and toggle between them now the on create function we need to define the toggle button so our toggle button will be find view by id r dot id dot toggle button okay for this we need to define an android id object here we need to associate this Im image button with an id i'll be creating a new id called toggle button yes r dot id dot toggle button will refer to the image button which we just created in activity main dot xml also we need to check if our device is support supports camera flash or not we can check that by system feature package manager dot feature camera flash i'll be writing the code for that has camera flash equals get package manager dot has system feature package manager dot feature camera flash this line will check whether the device supports camera flash or not after that we need to define a on click listener to the toggle button so that on click of the button we will toggle some action and switch on and off the flashlight of our mobile device so toggle button dot set on click listener and i'll since it's associated with the view i'll be defining a new view on dot view dot on click listener and we have the on click function with us so now here we will be checking if our device supports the camera flash or not suppose if we have the camera flash we can proceed to toggle on and off the flashlight of the application now we will check if flashlight is already on suppose if the flashlight is already on we need to make this flash on variable as false and we need to set the flashlight image to the off button which is the black one so we need to write the code for that so i'll be setting an image resource to the toggle button dot set image resource and i'll be using the power off button in the drawable r dot drawable dot power off and now we also need to make sure that flashlight off i'll be defining a flashlight off function which will be which does the work of switching off the flashlight of the application else part if the flashlight is currently switched off we need to make it on so i'll be writing flash on equals true and i'll be setting the toggle button image to the flashlight on button that is the red image set image resource r dot drawable dot power on yes and we will be writing a function flashlight 
on. So this completes our flashlight on and off conditions and suppose if we do not have flashlight in our mobile device supported then we need to show a message which I'll be doing using toast. So I'll be defining a toast variable toast.make text. Now we need to define the context which is main activity dot this here and the text the text will be no flash available on your device. And we need to define the length of the toast. So toast dot length long. Since this is a warning message, I'll be showing that dot show. So this this will show the whole toast message to the user if the device doesn't support a flashlight. We have our on click listener ready and we need to just define this flashlight off and flashlight on applications to get the program going on. I'll be writing the functions for those. So I'll be defining a private void flashlight on application. Flashlight on. To switch on the flashlight we require a camera manager object and set its torch attribute to true. So first we need to define a camera manager object, camera manager, camera manager, enter, equals get system service context dot camera service. Yes. We also need to get the camera ID to get to know which camera supports the flash. Usually it's the first camera that is the uh, mobile's back camera. So we can get it by camera manager dot get camera ID list and we'll be def right we'll be getting its first ID. So we will be setting this camera ID's object to torch mode to true camera manager dot set torch mode camera id comma true this will enable the camera and now we will also show a toast message to show the user that the flashlight has been switched on main activity dot this the text will be flashlight is on and yes this completes our flashlight on application and we can add an exception also we will just need to copy this whole function because it's very similar to the flashlight off application function flashlight off and yes, we need to change one more thing here, which is setting the torch mode to false and the message shown will be flashlight is off. Yes, to remove this warning, we can add assert camera manager is not equal to null. Same we can do in this flashlight off application function. Yes, this completes our whole. Mm, this completes we will add a try catch button here try catch clause here also as required so yes you can change the on click listener with a try catch and also we have the flashlight on and flashlight off code with this with this we complete the code for main activity dot java and the code for switching on and off the flashlight now we need to run the application. I'll be running the application on my device which I have connected through USB and I'll be running this app to show you how it looks on mobile. I have my flashlight on with me 
and as you can see on my device I have the flashlight icon and on click of that icon I can proceed to the flashlight application which I have just created and as you can see the default is the black image that is flashlight is currently off and when I press on it the flashlight is on and the flashlight will be on in the back end and when I click it again the flashlight will be off so yes this completes our flashlight application hope you guys liked it and if you want more tutorials like this you can always subscribe to my channel and get more android tutorials for any feedback or suggestion please do write us in the comment box thank you